LifeZone Metals rang the opening bell at the New York Stock Exchange today in celebration of its new public listing. The company has described itself as a modern metals company that will create value across the battery metals supply chain, ranging from resource development to metals production and recycling. As part of its Go Public process, the company completed a business combination with Go Green Investments Corporation. LifeZone says that the merger creates new opportunities in the battery metals supply chain, with the company's flagship Kabinka project in Tanzania, offering one of the largest and highest quality undeveloped nickel deposits in the world. LifeZone also says that its proprietary hydrometallurgical processing technology will provide a lower cost and environmentally friendly alternative to carbon heavy smelting processes. As part of the business combination, the company received $86.6 million in gross proceeds, which it says will enable further growth in meeting demand for battery metals in the growing electric vehicle industry. With support from major miner BHP, LifeZone says it plans to achieve first ore production from the Kabanka project by 2026. Keith Liddell, chairman of LifeZone Metals stated, Today is a momentous occasion in the corporate evolution of LifeZone Metals, and one we are immensely proud of. For nearly 30 years, LifeZone Metals CTO Dr. Mike Adams and I have been developing and improving our hydromet technology as a cleaner, lower cost, and more efficient alternative to smelting in the metals extraction process. Shares of LifeZone Metals now trade on the New York Stock Exchange under the ticker symbol LZM. For more information, visit greenstocknews.com. Thanks for watching Greenstock News. If you like the video, please hit the like button. If you want to see daily Greenstock News videos, hit the subscribe button. And if you have something to say, please leave a comment.